friends father hello everyone welcome back to our channel at hello sa lahat sa iba't ibang lugar good morning good afternoon good evening yeah uh, iba't iba uh, tayong mga lugar kaya ano kung anong oras niyo dito na nanonood Hello. Yeah. At uh, ngayon uh, ngayon ay birthday ko at masaya ako. Maraming salamat sa lahat na mga bumati sa akin, mga pamilya ko, uh, yung mga Facebook. kaibigan. Maraming salamat my family. I love you. I miss you. And my friends and uh katrabaho ko dati. Maraming salamat. Again. So, uh, back tayo dito sa aking uh, uh, application for my uh, uh, dual citizenship. Uh, Nag-apply ako noong April 14, 2022. At ngayon, uh, June 21, uh, June 21, na-receive ko itong email nila na uh, binigyan nila ako yung uh, OS uh, day time ng uh, oath taking ko sa aking uh, uh, oath taking <laughs> sa aking oath taking um, at nagpapasalamat ako dahil natanggap ko na yung email nila uh, well, it's more than like 2 months it's like uh, 2 months and 7 days from from my application, uh, June, uh, uh, April 14, tapos ngayon is uh, June 21. So, na-receive ko yung email nila, yung naisend ko noon na application ko ay my response na sila ngayon. Ayan. Uh, first of all, yung, ano, yung application ko noon ay, ito yung mga sinend uh, ko. Julie accomplished. Uh, application from with attached photo. Ito, ito siya. Yan. Dapat, uh, uh, bit, uh, in 6 months siya na photo. Not uh, more than. Yan. Ito yung dalawang photos ko. Tapos, yan. Dalawa siyang page. Pwede niyong i-handwritten. But, ang ginawa ko siya, in-encode na, na siya doon sa para malinis tignan. So, dapat ay uh, dapat ay meron uh, remember, dapat meron yung dito sa page na dito may signature din dito banda kailangan yung fill up yun. tapos dito din banda yung second page meron siyang signature so ito yung ano yung sinan ko na uh, form uh, tapos yun, ito yung date uh, sub, uh, April 14, 2022. So, ito yung form. Ida-download nyo doon sa ano, meron, ibibigay nila yung ano, yung link na yun. Tapos, birth certificate issued by statistic PSA. Ito yung uh, uh, certificate so, ko. Mail lang, email. Certificate. Email. So, ibibigay nila yung email address na so, kung saan ninyo isi-send yung mga requirements. Tapos, uh, marriage certificate. to Marriage certificate. Sa akin ay dalawang page ito siya. Yan. Tapos, itong uh, for divorce, widowed, which applica uh, apl marriage certificate, divorce, unnoted, marriage certificate, date certificate. Ito yung mga pang uh, divorce. Tapos, sa akin is US Naturalization Certificate. Ito yun. Ito. And, tapos yung, ano, yung data page ng passport. Yung first page lang siya. Ito. Yung first page, tapos yung signature, may signature kayo dun. Yung for, first page niya. Tapos, yung first, yung ano din, yung data page of the US passport. Ito siya. Yun. May signature din siya doon. Yan. Itong 
first page niya na may picture kayo dito tapos may signature kayo doon yun ang isesend nyo doon oh yun ito lahat yung naisend ko yung ano yung yung ito yung uh, documentary requirements for retention requisition Reacquisition of Philippine Citizenship under RA 9255. So, ito yung mga requirements na kakailangan nyan yung ito yung additional requirements for minor. Meron dito din. So, basahin lang niyo yung mga uh, email doon nila. Sa kanila. Yan. Ano natin yung email nila? So. Sabi niya, kindly reply if you receive this email with your oath taking schedule. Your reply should be accompanied by signed health declaration form, which you can download. Uh, downloaded from. So ito may binigay silang ano? Uh, uh, ida download mo na declaration form. Yun. So pag magre reply daw. I ilalagay din yung declaration form. Tapos, uh, yung off-taking schedule. So, dalawa ang isi-send. Yung off-taking schedule at saka yung declaration form. Yung ano ko, yung yung off-taking ko schedule ay sa July 8, 2022, Friday. Tapos, sabi niya, Please be in the office at 9 a.m. for signing of certificates. Tapos, check in with the building security 5 minutes before your scheduled time. You will not allow inside the building earlier than 5 minutes before your appointment. Yung off taking ay 10 a.m. Tapos, yeah. due to the COVID situation, this is scheduled appointment be changed. So, on as you there be changes. Pag may mga changes daw, you can call. Tapos, ito is step one. In order to prepare the certificate, please send the following by mail. And must be received by the consulate before 27, June 27. So, kailangan kong isi-send back ito sa kanila before June 27. So, it's like, uh, ngayon is 21. So, dapat ma-send ko lahat sa kanila sa June 27. Before. Before naman siya, sabi niya. So, the payment in cash uh, the payment in cash or money order uh, in the amount of $50. The consulate does not accept personal checks. The money order shall be issued to the Philippine Consulate General. Tapos ito, second, the original photocopy of the application form with attached original photo signature on the po both pages. Ito yung sinasabi niya. Yun, ito yung form. Dapat, yung or, uh, the original, dapat isesend ko itong original with the photocopy. Ay, uh, original and the photocopy of the, so, photocopy pa. With attached original photos. Ito yung photos. Tapos, signature on both pages. Ito yung mga pages. Dito may signature dito na sinasabi niya. Applicant signature. Tapos dito din. Applicant signature over printed name. So, meron dito. Yung dalawang page may, may, uh, may, may nga signature sila. So, Be careful, kailangan nilo, nini yung uh, fill up an yun. Tapos, nasanay siya. And two photocopies of the following documents in letter size paper 8.5 by 11 inch. Do not mail the original copies. Take note, do not mail the original copies. Ito yung isesend din sa kanila sa, sa enclosed lahat. Birth certificate ng PSA, marriage certificate, U.S. naturalization certificate, 
US passport data page only, Philippine passport data page only. Um, yung mga divorce or whatever, yung mga uh, i-check po ninyo yung mga iba ninyong mga requirements doon. Kasi sa akin, uh, ito yung requirements sa akin. The documents and payment are required to prepare prepare the certificates for dual citizenship. If you will not submit the documents and payment before the de deadline, the consulate will automatically automatically cancel your appointment. So, dapat ay maisisend yun. Please enclose a copy of the first page of this email together with the payment and application form. So, kailangan uh, mailalagay ma din yung page ng uh, email, yung email nila, yung first page, at saka yung application form. Be sure. So, ito may binigay silang ano yung uh, saan i-mail, yung address. Philippine Consulate General, yung dito, meron silang binigay na, na ano, na address. Step 2. Please read the following reminders for dual citizenship applicants before coming to the consulate. What to bring on the day of the oath taking? Uh, you are expected to present the original copies of the following documents on the day of the oath taking. So, dapat ito na yung mga original, lahat na itong mga original, yung birth certificate, ay yung form kasi maisi-send mo na siya kasi with the uh, mail. Pero ito yung mga original na dadalhin, yung birth certificate, marriage certificate, US naturalization certificate, US passport, at saka Philippine passport. What happens if you don't have all the original documents? The consulate will only accept applicants with complete requirements. If you lack even one original documents, you will not be allowed to take the oath and your application will be cancelled. Your application will, uh, the consulate will not refund your payment. You may, you may file another application in the future once you have completed, you, once you complete documents. What happens if I cannot attend the oath taking? Okay. If you cannot come on the appointment date, please inform the consulate immediately through email before the deadline or before your appointment. The consulate will automatically cancel the application of those who will not attend the oath taking and forfeit their payment. No show applicants will have to resubmit their application and pay for the appropriate fee. So, what should I wear for the oath taking ceremony? <laughs> Applicants are advised to wear decent attire for the oath taking ceremony. Spaghetti strap, flip flop, walking shorts, mini skirt are not allowed inside the consulate premises. Can I bring my family for the oath taking? Due to limited space, health and safety protocols, only the principal applicants will be allowed to enter the consulate. Minor applicants, derivative, depends, are not allowed inside the premises. Person with disability, senior citizen with handicap will be allowed to bring only one companion. Please inform the consulate of the name of the person who will accompany the applicant in advance through this email. Bring your own pen. Extra pens are not available inside Please the consulate. Please wear face masks. Using mobile phones and bringing food and drinks are not allowed. <laughs> so, yun, ito yung mga kakailanganin at I'm very happy to ay, at maraming salamat dahil uh, masaya ako dahil um, yun, na-receive ko itong email nila which hinihintay ko kasi kung kailan sila mag-response Basta pag mag-send kayo ng mga ano, ng mga uh, documents at yung mga forms ninyo ay isang email lang na hindi na siya separate. 
para yan ang ang sabi nila yun tapos uh, lahat i-check niyo yung sa ang jurisdiction kayo mag apply Kasi sa amin dito sa Ohio ay sa Chicago ang jurisdiction so, namin. So, yan. I'm very happy. Uh, masaya ako dahil nga meron silang ano, response. Nag-response sila noon na ano, nung naisend ko lahat yung application ko ay next day may email na sila kaagad na yun, ipaprocess nila yung papers. Tapos, ngayon may email na naman sila na yun uh, nakaset na yung uh, off taking ko sa July 8 tapos yun sinet na lang yung dadalhin ko at saka yung gagawin ko sa isesend yung pera ngayon so kailangan namin maisend yung pera before uh, June 27 anyway uh yun yun lahat yung ano gagawin maraming at, salamat pala sa mga nag uh, Uh, maraming salamat pala sa yung mga nag uh, nag wish I mean nag greeting sa aking uh, birthday ngayon at um, I'm very happy na kahit hindi ako uh, active uh, hindi talaga ako active sa uh, Facebook at mga yung old friends ko mga tsaka trabaho ko dati mga families ko ay yon nagsisend nagsend pa rin sila ng mga uh, uh, happy birthday sa akin at maraming salamat I really miss you I love you all uh, my families I love you all Jan at yung mga katrabaho ko doon sa Dubai maraming salamat Vanchi I miss you too I love you uh, Sharon Shello um who else there? Sino pa ba hindi ko nasabi? Ate Tel, maraming salamat sa mga nagwishes at saka yung mga old friends ko, yung dati kong mga kaibigan dyan sa Facebook, yung mga kaklasmate ko pa rin dyan, nandyan pa rin sila. At maraming salamat, sorry kasi hindi talaga ako nag-active. Hindi talaga ako nag- uh, uh, minsan lang talaga ako nag nag tumitingin sa Facebook, minsan lang yung mga may notification ganon. Pero hindi talaga ako active sa Facebook. At maraming salamat sa aking mother-in-law na ano, siya ang kanina nagdala ng aming pagkain. Kagigising pa namin ay meron, nandyan na siya, yung cake, yung present niya, dinala niya, yung pagkain, yung Bob Evans, Yan, maraming salamat. Thank you so much, mom, and thank you. And my family in Philippines, your prayers, your, uh, yun, yung palagi ninyo na iniisip ako dito. Maraming salamat, and my friends and families, thank you. At saka kayong mga ka-YouTubers ko, maraming salamat sa inyo. And thank you so much. Have a nice day. God bless. Bye! Yan, ito din yung mga dalawa kong alaga. <laughs> Yan, yeah, naka. Upo lang dyan sila. You okay, sugar? Nakikinig lang siya sa sinasabi ko dito. And chocolate, how are you, chocolate? Sugar, you okay? Oh, you okay? Yan. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away So when I'm
is the uh, cake today, and this is the Father's, Father's Day. day. We Which is uh, two days ago. Yeah. Well, I didn't play the daughter for cake. Birthday card. Pretend at the home home to say Thank you, mother. Salamat po. You're welcome. I think you'll like that. Oh, it's the one that goes in the yard. It's a spinner. Where are we going to get that? Yeah. Wow, look. You like it? I love it, Mom. There's a sign on there. That's how you stand it up. Yes. It goes in your yard. I love this. I love this. Here. 